All right, so now we build something. Okay, I got this. Now, important. When you heat metal, it weakens, okay? So we don't want to heat the metal yet. We want to bend this. I already made this mistake. I forgot that this is really thin metal. And any kind of change in temperature will cause it to weaken. All right, so we want a 15 or a 50 millimeter bend from the center hole out and we want something to be able to rest on it. So here's my first try at this. Pretty pretty cool. But what I want to do is have both wings in here and what happened was this got so hot that it weakened the metal. So any bend snapped it right in half. All right. So what I want to do here is take my vise Bend it. Try to bend it in the exact same area over here. Just like that. And then put it back. And I'm using these holes as measurement. Okay, so we got something that looks like that. All right, where's those calibers at? Okay, I'm looking for that much of a difference. Right there. So you can see I got some bending to do still. I'm going to do this by hand because this stuff is very brittle. Still works rather well for the actual holding of that as far as the sturdiness is concerned. But yeah, you got to be sort of careful with it. Sort of close, pretty close. And sometimes I'll just straighten it out by clamping it down. All right, so what I'm looking at here is right about there. Good job. All right, so let's weld some stuff. What I want to do is get this this coupler off, okay? So this is my first attempt, so all right, my first job is to get that off of there. Got to refill my actual thing. Let that dissipate for a second. Uh, check the label for long, how long to dissipate. Button allows it to hold. Have a good pair of pliers here. So I want that as flat as I can get. What I need to do, if that's the case, is try to shake that off. 
heat it up super hot, give it a little tap, it falls right off. Just like that. Okay, next. We're going to use this hole as a way to weld. So I'm going to get the camera a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. Because it's very cool. Nerd welding is very fun to do. Okay, so these these things have zinc, all right? They're coated in zinc, and that's how this works. Not stainless, zinc. Zinc coated parts. Did I say zinc? I think I said zinc. All right, looks like that's a little bit too much. I gotta have something that raises this up. I'm, look, I'm using aluminum here because solder does not stick to aluminum. No matter how good it is, no matter what kind of brand it is, it will not stick. So I use aluminum a lot for this stuff, as far as the welding is concerned. That's perfect. There's a little tiny gap here, and that's important that solder be able to get underneath it just a little bit. Not quite that much, but... need to do is raise it up just by a fraction of a decimal so I'm going to put another one of these strips underneath it perfect okay so that's resting on there using a product called stay clean okay whatever flux that you're using you have to use a flux Lux is an acid, and acid eats metal. So that's what this is going to be doing. Again, I'm just going to put a drop over here so I can get a hold of it. And I got a paintbrush right here that I keep dropping. Okay, perfect. Line it up. Now, whether you, how you position this is important. Once this process starts, there is no going back. Heating the metal too many times, cooling the metal too many times, weakens the metal. So you don't want to do this too much. Okay, it'll turn black in this area. Blackish. Once it starts to occur, take your paintbrush. Just kind of hit it up. Some really nasty smoke will come off of it. Apply more heat. Wait till it gets a little bit it's going to look a little bit darker gray right in that area. Put a drop of solder there. You can see some sparks flying off of it. It's a good indication that it's getting to where I want it. But you'll notice nothing really sticks to this stuff just yet. Okay. Our goal is to get it to stick to the bolt itself, not the bracket just yet. Okay, allow that to cool for a second. Air dry is the best method here. Get a file, okay? Real small file. Scratch up the area.
Okay, let go. Try to reposition your parts so they're all good. Apply heat. By now that flux is cooked off the aluminum, so we're gonna have to put another drop somewhere on a metal surface. There we go. Apply heat. Apply solder. And apply flux. You see how it's spreading out? Okay, the reason it's doing that is because it has been eaten away in that area and the solder can now stick to it. So that is how you nerd weld. Now, I wouldn't get too much hotter, but you could actually go off of this just a little bit. Bond the two a little bit better than that area. and you're like painting with solder. As long as you keep the paintbrush wet, it's not gonna melt. All right, there we go. Now, allow that to cool. What I like to do is heat temper the part just a little bit because it has lost its temper. So what I use is oil. I also use another paintbrush. So I use five weight motor oil and just coat the part. Again, very toxic smoke. This will cool it down some. You could quench it in water, and that would strengthen it, strengthen it a little bit, but I always find oil works really well for this. All right, so there we go. That's our custom-made part. Now I need to make one more of those for the other shuttle, but for right now, let's go look at how we're going to attach this to the plexiglass.